Hi, I'm Randy Becker with Keysight Technologies. In the wireless industry, the end users are continuing to ask for ever-increasing throughput and lower latencies for a wide range of different applications. You as the providers of the infrastructure equipment and also the mobile handsets are continuing to ask Keysight for three key things, higher frequency coverage, uh, wider bandwidths, and the absolute best EVM performance possible to enable you to get your products to market first. In this video, I'm going to show you how Keysight is addressing those challenges through a series of short demonstrations. So let's take a look at our demo setup today. In this setup, we have our VXG Vector Microwave Signal Generator, frequency coverage up to 44 gigahertz. It has two channels and really wide bandwidth capability that I'll show you in just a minute. On the top, we have our UXA, the newest member of the UXA family. It has frequency coverage up to 50 gigahertz. It has an internal demodulation capability up to four gigahertz. And the frequency range can be extended further all the way to 110 gigahertz with this external uh, remote head. It's portable, small, compact. You can position it right at the device under test. And this connector allows you to measure basically from DC all the way to 110 gigahertz. Lastly, we have a new RCAL module which also goes to 110 gigahertz and allows you to recalibrate from the front panel of the instrument or the remote head right to your device under test. So this is a handy instrument to have as well. Now let's take a look at our first measurement, which is going to be an EVM measurement of a new radio signal. So let's take a look at the EVM measurement. You can see I'm using Signal Studio on the source to generate our new radio signal. I'm using a uh, 100 megahertz component carrier configured for test model 3.1 and I'm doing this at a frequency of 28 gigahertz and a power level of minus 5 dBm. Now we're going to look at the results on the UXA using our vector signal analysis software. On the screen right away you can see on the bottom the spectrum showing the 100 megahertz component carrier and that looks pretty flat. You can also see the constellation diagram which is 64 quam if you go all the way to the far right, you can see a breakdown of all the different channels and their EVM power level, among other things. You can also get a nice composite summary of the overall EVM in the upper right quadrant, and that has an EVM right around 0.7%. So that's a pretty good result. On the screen, I'm going to compare the previous generation UXA with the newest member of the UXA family. And what you can see is that the EVM floor has dropped a couple of dB, and we've also extended the range with which you can make those really good EVM measurements. So now you're able to make really good EVM measurements even at the lowest uh, power levels. In the next demo, I'm gonna show you how we can make really wide bandwidth measurements using both the source and the analyzer. In this next measurement, I'm gonna show you how we can generate and analyze up to four gigahertz of bandwidth. And I've set the generator here to 28 gigahertz again at a power level of plus 20 dBm, which is a phenomenally high power level uh, at these frequencies. Now let's take a look at the demodulation results. On the bottom lower left, you can see the span is four gigahertz and I'm literally filling up that entire uh, spectrum you can see here. You can see the constellation diagram, nice, uh, tight and clean, uh, 16 quam. And the EVM that we're getting is right at 2%. So that's a phenomenal result under these conditions. And we're making use of the wide bandwidth uh, capability in the next generation uh, UXA. In this final measurement, I'm gonna show you the ability to make low level spurious measurements, which are required for some communication formats. I already have the analyzer set to sweep from zero all the way to 110 gigahertz. You can see the span is actually 110 gigahertz here. And I'm going to use the signal we used in the previous measurement, which was set at 28 gigahertz at a power level of plus 20 dBm. When I get the cable close to the input of the remote head, you can see immediately that we are registering a response on the analyzer. So in fact, we can pick up that uh, low level signal after it's leaking across the air. So another important measurement uh, that you can do with the UXA. In summary, we've looked at three key performance attributes that customers ask us for all the time. Higher frequencies, wider bandwidths, and the absolute best EVM performance. These will help you unlock your next measurement insight and get your products to market first. Thanks for watching.